Hey everybody, Professor Z here with another DaVinci Resolve little tutorial here. As I've said before, I'm just getting into DaVinci Resolve. I've been a long time Premiere Pro user before that, Final Cut 6 actually. Um, so one of the things that's confusing a little bit is how to set up your database. Because unlike Premiere, if you come from that or Media Composer, where you can basically just create a folder on uh, a drive somewhere, put your project file in there, put all your, pro your media in there, DaVinci works on libraries. So it's important to understand where your libraries are and how they function. By default, just like Final Cut Pro X, when you open up uh, DaVinci Resolve for the first time, it is going to create a library. It cannot exist without a library. You see that right here under my disk area, I have a local database. And I've actually done some projects where these this media is on an external hard drive and the cache is written to the external hard drive, but the project has actually been on my local hard drive, which is not great because I can't take that hard drive, go somewhere else, and then edit it. And I was curious where it is. I just right click on here and say reveal and finder, and it's going to show me that this project file is in, wow, it's really buried. It's on my hard drive, my username, my library, which is a hidden folder, application support, black magic. Wow, that is really buried in there. So I'm going to clean this up. Now, one thing about DaVinci is on a Mac anyways, I don't know about the Windows side, but on a Mac, it needs to be on an OS X extended journaled formatted hard drive. So your internal hard drive is that. Now my external drive here, I can see over here, this is the one I'm using currently. It is currently formatted as XFAT. If I try to make a database on there, it does not like it. So I have this other hard drive, which I'm, I currently call it temp. If I right click and say get info, you're going to see that this is a OS X extended journaled hard drive. I actually just clean that hard drive up just for this because I'm going to be transferring stuff over from one to the other so I can clean up my old hard drive here in a minute. So to create a database on here, in this window here on the bottom left, and by the way, if you don't see this left side, it's because it's currently shut off. So right next to where it says projects here, there's a little toggle switch that toggles on and off your library. So there you go. There it is create new database and so I can either connect to an existing database. So if you already have an external hard drive that has a database on there, this is how you would, you would give it the name and navigate to it. We are going to be creating one. I'm just going to call this something very simple. And I'm going to call this for my 102 class. So DaVinci 102. And then on the bottom here, click on the location. It's going to open up your finder. I'm going to navigate to my external hard drive and I am going to create a new folder. DaVinci database. Maybe I'll do DaVinci 102 DB for database. That way I know what it is and I can always make more than one database on the hard drive as well. I'm going to create, open, it shows you where it is. Volumes, temp, DaVinci looks good hit create and now we have two databases that are hooked up to this and you can actually see if I open up that hard drive it created a whole database project so all that stuff is in there that just got created from this and you see it has a untitled project to start with again it always defaults to that but that's how you create a database within here you can also transfer stuff from one database to the other you can have multiple databases open on your computer at once if you want to. Um, it's probably recommended that you actually only have the active database open so you don't bog down DaVinci as it opens every time. But that's it. That's how you create a new database in DaVinci. So it's on your external hard drive and that's going to be a much more efficient way to do your edits. I hope that you found this video helpful. Uh, please subscribe for more upcoming tutorials in the future. Have a great day.